This is how stories are told, often with a beginning, a middle, an end. They say it is in the middle where all the magic lies. These magical little sparks grow and transform into creator light. Many have been here before. They have left their stories behind for these walls to keep. I do dissolve my story in these corridors. Sometimes I travel back through tickets of time into pockets of past, holding on to the rich embroidery of yesterday. This is our story, spread across these walls, smeared with history in the luxuriant beauty of green lawns. Sometimes the winds carry a different scent of secret agreements, of past and present, of the sweet promise for years to come. New leaves sprout, seeking stories like ours, and we gather our lives. We leave our memories, we become the narrators of more than just our stories. We are the keeper of our histories. Year 1963, the time when the world was waking up from the deep slumber of imperialism and moving towards an era of industrialization and technology, when the need for scientific and technical learning centers was felt world over. It was then that a seed was sown in golden sand of state of Rajasthan and MREC came into being, which was established under directorship of visionary professor V.G. Garde. It was a part of 14 regional engineering colleges that were set up by the government at that time in various parts of the country. Starting from a temporary campus, MNIT today occupies a campus spread across 317 acres in the heart of Pink City, Jaipur, overlooking a ravali which gives the institute its aesthetic beauty and grandeur. MNIT's academic offerings have steadily expanded to meet the evolving needs of the nation starting with a focus on electrical and mechanical engineering in 1963 the curriculum incorporated civil and metallurgical engineering in 1965-66 the institute's growth continued with the introduction of architecture and chemical engineering programs in 1988-89 finally in 1994 computer and electronics engineering departments were established solidifying mnit's position as a comprehensive center for technological education. A pivotal moment in MNIT's history came in 1970 with the laying of the foundation stone for the first administrative building on its permanent campus. This marked a significant milestone in the Institute's development. On June 26, 2002, MNIT earned the prestigious recognition of a National Institute of Technology. Later, on 15 August 2007, it was recognized as the Institute of National Importance through an Act of Parliament. First of all, I'm very happy to visit Malavia National Institute of Technology, Jaipur. Graduating students who have received your degrees, I take this opportunity to congratulate Professor K.K. Agarwal, Chairman Board of Governors, Professor I.K. Bhart, and all the distinguished members of the faculties whose untiring efforts and sacrifices have brought this result. I wish to congratulate all the alumni, faculty members, students and staffs of MNIT Jaipur, those who are currently serving as well as those who have served in the past. The very important part of any institute building is the kind of sacrifice those stakeholders made during their lifetime. So I extend my best wishes to all the stakeholders such as students, faculty and staff of MNIT Jaipur as well as alumni to celebrate the moment of Diamond Jubilee celebration at MNIT and wish MNIT a great success.
Completing 60 years of its existence, MNIT promises to stay on its progressive path for sky, not its limit. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Development has been a hallmark of MNIT since its inception, and it continues to this day. The institute boasts a high-tech learning center and library, alongside world-class laboratories catering to its diverse fields of study. Cutting-edge research is facilitated by specialized centers like the Material Research Center and the newly inaugurated Earthquake Testing Research Center. Furthering student development, the Vivekanand Lecture Theatre Complex, established in 2015, provides students with a spacious student activity centre, four large seminar halls and 40 classrooms that can accommodate 120 students each. This complex serves as the venue for classes and literary sessions. The heart of the institute's administration lies in Prabhapavan, which houses banks, a post office and state-of-the-art computer centres accessible to students 24-7. MNIT's path of development extends to exceptional student accommodation, Aurobindo Hostel, Vinodini Hostel, Gargi Hostel for Girls and Acharya Bhavan for faculty members provide comfortable living spaces for both undergraduate and postgraduate students, research scholars and faculty. Upholding the Indian tradition of Atithi Devo Bhava, the guest is court. MNIT prioritizes the comfort of its visitors. The institute boasts two guest houses, Indra Dhanush with 15 deluxe rooms and Surya Uday with 28 standard rooms. All rooms are air-conditioned and equipped with double beds and other amenities. MNIT has transcended its role as an educational institution, evolving into a hub for co-curricular and cultural activities. Cultural extravaganzas, sports meet and literary sessions are regular occurrences. The annual cultural festival, Blitzlag, the largest in Rajasthan, and Sphinx, the technical fest, add further vibrancy to the institute. Ensuring the well-being of its students and staff, MNIT provides a primary care dispensary on campus, supervised by medical officers and full-time nursing staff. MNIT honoured the brave soldiers and the MI-8 helicopter Pratap used in their defence of our nation's borders. The exhibition site dedicated to Pratap, named Pratap's Thal, was inaugurated on April 11, 2023. What you hold in your hands today is a memoir of all that MNIT has witnessed in its 60th year. The events, the conclaves, the ceremonies and every other thing that made the year remarkable is presented before you so that the memories don't fade and the euphoria lingers on and so that you can stay connected with MNIT's journey from here on.